everybody, it's Queen. I'm back again. Yes, I am. Today we're going to do a food haul uh, for you guys. Um, I just got in a little while ago, put everything out. Um, I bought perishables and um, I'm not going to, you know, I put some of them out, but I, this was a big grocery haul. I wanted to stock my pantry. I was getting a little antsy about things being short so i just got a few things today but i went to the farmer's market as well and as you can see i got some vegetables here and fruits um right here you can see you guys can see the peppers that i have uh hold on one second guys let me fix my phone <laughs> okay i got some peppers here um i'm gonna cook these up roast them um in a salad i'm doing this weekend i'm hosting again a, a little get together but I'm gonna roast these and serve them with uh, kebabs, possibly some uh, you know, salmon kebabs. I'm gonna do, I don't know yet, and I'm gonna also serve these wonderful peaches that I have from North Carolina. These are so good, guys. Try and get some fresh peaches before the season is over. I must have ate at least 20 pounds of peaches, if not more, this season, <laughs> because peach is my favorite fruit, so I'm, I'm gonna eat these. Love them, fresh. Uh, they could be cut into a salad, and that's what I'm going to do with the peaches and the peppers, red onions, and some feta cheese, and some cucumber. I'm going to make a tomato. I'm going to make a salad with that. And I bought, picked up a couple of apples, the first of the season, a couple of tomato, uh, potatoes, yellow potatoes that I want to use tonight for my dinner. But these apples are very good. These are the gala, and they're the first of the season, so try and get a few of those if you can. Moving along, I got some lettuce here. You know, I like the hydro hydronically grown lettuce um, without chemicals and stuff on it. So I got the green and I got the, the red leaf. So they're really tasty in a salad, on a sandwich. You know, just plain even, just eat them. Also got some fresh okra. You guys can see that. These okra are fresh and nice. I got them. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I usually just fry them. I might save them for the weekend and batter them and fry them as an hors d'oeuvre with some dill, sour cream, and mayonnaise, like a dip, a ranch. I don't know yet. I'll show you guys if I do. I brought some fresh ginger because I'm going to be making another cocktail for you guys that I enjoy. It's a Moscow Mule, so I'm going to show you how to do that with the ginger. And I also bought ginger. I'm going to show you guys how I make my alkaline water with it and keep it in the fridge. Um, just for health. Also picked up some string beans. You can't go wrong with the uh, string beans. They're lovely to have. I'm going to eat these tonight because uh, they, they, they need to be eaten <laughs> right away. Also bought a pack of celery, the organic celery. I only like the celery hearts. I don't like, you know, I like celery, but I, I like celery hearts, the organic ones. And these are, of course, you know, the Kirby cucumbers. I enjoy the Kirby cucumbers more than the regular English cucumbers because the Kirby ones are very little seeds and they are, to me, they taste more like cucumberish, a little less water. They're more concentrated flavor. You guys know what these are. Tomatoes. I needed a lot of them. I usually grow them in my garden, but my mom died this year, early part of this year, and I'm just not into it right now. The only thing growing out there is mint. <laughs> mint and herbs, dill, basil, all that stuff. But... I didn't fool around with the tomatoes this season. Um, bought a bag of lemons. And you guys know what that is. Lemon is a very healing fruit. Um, tasty in salads, drinks, marinades. Uh, bought a few limes. I'm going to use these in my Moscow mule. Uh, actually, I bought a lot of limes, but I only put out a few. These, of course, will be for uh, I grill these with the um, peppers here to go on my salad or people want to eat, you know, on the side of their plate. I have some corn. I didn't put them all out, guys, because I got like two dozen corn, <laughs> at least 12 ears of corn, a dozen corn, because I'm going to break them in half, put some uh, lime and, and uh, zest, uh, butter and everything on in, uh, aluminum foil and grill those. Bought some avocados. I don't know what, what I'm going to do with those yet. But um, so we'll move on to the other side of the house. And I'll show you guys what I got over there. But I just wanted to show you the vegetables that I got. And uh, so we're going to go into the other side of the house now. And we're going to start here. I bought some coffee. 
Um, I love this brand of coffee by Ely. Um, it's just a regular roast. Uh, baking season is coming up, so I got a couple of packages of yeast. I'm a baker by trade, a professional baker and pastry chef. So I do like to bake during this time of the year when the heat is not so much. I bought some uh, onion pow powder. I love this stuff. It's good. You, you guys know about onion powder. I just go to BJ's and get a big one. I bought some coffee creamer. You guys know about that. I'm getting kind of lazy with the garlic, so sometimes I like to have it in the house squeezed. This is an organic one. If I can get organic products, that's what I go for, um, certified organic. And this one I had before, so it's pretty good. BJ's. I also like the sugar-free ketchup. I cook with this if I need a sauce for something. If I put it on my turkey meatloaf in it, on it, I use the sugar-free uh, ketchup. Pretty good stuff to cook with. Like I said, I bake, so I use the shortening, the organic shortening, um, made with uh, like palm oil, coconut oil. Uh, it, it's a better shortening, but I also like, as you can see back there, <laughs> the Crisco, the old standby Crisco. Sticks, and the sticks are easy to measure. I do a lot of baking this time of the year for friends, myself, so I like to have shortenings for different preparations. The Crisco is very good. Been using that since my childhood. I also like this butter, the challenge butter. Very good to bake with. It's a good quality. Um, I'm making hors d'oeuvres this weekend, and my friends like crab cakes. So I'm going to be making the little hors d'oeuvre crab cakes, and this is what I use to put in the crab so I don't have to bother with eggs and all this stuff. I just use this and the crab meat and some mayonnaise and fry. Also got some hot sauce. I love this stuff now. Um, this is the pizza flavored hot sauce. I get it at TJ Maxx. Uh, I think it's $3. It's really good, guys. If you can find it, try it. I think you'll enjoy it. And for making gravies and stuff like that, I got some cornstarch. Nothing special, but it's organic, non-GMO. Because, you know, a lot of this corn. And most of the vegetables I got back there were grown um, that I showed you guys on this guy's farm that I go to. He grows a lot of stuff and he doesn't use GMO seeds. He's one of the few farmers in here in Virginia that I go to that's not bending for the government. But um, and anyway, this is non-GMO, so try that. I also got this because I enjoy vanilla, as you guys know. This vanilla paste, very good to bake with. I use it in iced coffee, sometimes my milk. Um, Anything you want to taste like vanilla, you can put a little bit of this paste in there and it'll jazz it up a little bit. Jar of pickle relish. A jar of apricot preserves. I like to make little cookies called rugula. And this is what I use in it with the crushed walnuts and raisins and stuff like that as a spread. And then I roll up the dough um, to make my little cookies that I like to give away. People enjoy those, so I like to make those this time of the year when I bake. So I use the apricot preserves in it. And I picked up a jar of chunky uh, salsa. Nothing special with that. A, a bottle of kombucha. I like to have this on hand in the fridge. I actually drank one on the way home. <laughs> but this one is good. You can try any kombucha. Usually try to get the one with ginger or some probiotic or prebiotic because that's the better ones. That's for your stomach and digest, digestive system. Um, let's see. Let's move along here. Uh, I got some cultured buttermilk powdered because I do like to use this in breads that I want the flavor of buttermilk, but I don't want to add the liquid. So I will use this. Got a jar of the roasted peppers. Um, I enjoy these on sandwiches, uh, on salads, uh, just out of the jar with a piece of cheese and some crackers. That's, that's nice. Pineapple chunks, I'm going to use these this weekend on my kebabs with onions and pe the peppers, like I told you. Um, so, yeah, have this in your pantry. Pineapple chunks go with everything, chicken, beef, if you eat pork, pork, fish, anything. So have some of these in your pantry. I needed maple syrup, so I got this one, um, BJ's. I think this was 10 bucks. Can't beat the price. So winter is coming up. I enjoy pancakes and waffles. Biscuits. <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, got to have maple syrup. Moving along, I bought some pesto. I love to have this on hand for pasta. For, if I'm making a pizza, homemade white pizza, I like to put this on there. Um, pesto, you can't go wrong with it. Very good stuff. 
Also bought this. I'm into this now. Nutiva coconut oil, buttery flavor. This is some good stuff. If you guys find this in the store, try it. It, it, it it's great on popcorn, rice, cooking with rice, anything you need that buttery flavor and you need to put oil instead of that, use this. I'm telling you, it's delicious. Try it. And I got some coconut oil because I love co coconut oil. Um, I like the coconut oil that's organic and cold pressed and unrefined. Um, as natural as you can get it. So this is what this is and it's very good. The Vita Coca. Try it if you can find it. I got this one at a specialty market, but I'm sure it's everywhere. It probably ain't that hard to find, so look for that. I also bought some ginger syrup. I'm going to make, like I said, my favorite cocktail this weekend, which I will show you guys, called a Moscow Mule. I usually make my own syrup, but if I'm not up to it, <laughs> I'm going to use this right here, okay? But um, it's a ginger syrup. You can flavor anything with it from seltzer water to limit your own homemade lemonade. You can put this in instead. Anything you want to sweeten, your tea or whatever, you can put some of this in there. It's very good. Okay, so try it, guys, if you can find it. I got this one at the market called the Fresh Market. So you, if you can find it, get it. It's uh, non-GMO. You can see on the bottle, it's organic. Try it if you can find it. It's a good product. Got this, the fish fry. I might fry some fish too, or like I said, I might use this on my okra to batter them and fry them as an hors d'oeuvre. But I'll see yet. Back here, I got some sugar in the raw. You guys know about sugar in the raw turbinado sugar. I prefer this kind of sugar over white sugar. White sugar, granulated sugar. If you're going to eat white sugar, make sure it says granulated cane sugar. Make sure it says cane. See how it says this says raw cane turbinado? This is real sugar. If you get something on the bag that says, because uh, these corporations play games with us. If you get something on your white sugar bag that says uh, granulated white sugar, don't get it. It's GMO, something made up in the labs. Just get something that says raw cane or cane sugar. Because that they have to put that on there by government standards so it's, that it's, you know, that it's saying that it's real sugar. <sighs> Moving along. I got these because I like to bake. These are cranberry dried craisins. I put these in cranberry orange bread. Just eat them like that in oatmeal, whatever. Um, I hope you guys can see this because my lighting, I got a new light fixture here. But it seems like it ain't putting out. <laughs> it's so great. But anyway, moving along, I got cake flour because I love making cakes as a baker. Pound cakes, layer cakes, breads, any kind of cake. And usually I like to make cake flour because there's less protein in it and your product will, won't be as tough. So I like cake flours. Soft the silk and uh, King Arthur cake flour right there is my fa favorite too. If you want to make a layer cake, this is the way to go, like yellow cake or chocolate cake, you know, pumpkin cake or whatever. Any kind of layer cake that you want a soft, tender crumb, go with soft as silk. I'm telling you, it's a great flour. Yeah, it's bleached, but hey, <laughs> it's good, okay? But the, um, the cake flour from King Arthur is unbleached. So if you want to go with that one, you can. I also bought a thing of dry milk because I use it in preparations for breads. Um, I use it in, in, in sometimes in uh, cakes that I don't want the liquid. It's a baker's thing, but dry milk is good to have on hand anyway. With uh, everything being short in the stores, you want to have something on hand. If you have children, you can dry storage this here. And moving along, I bought some Ghirardelli. <laughs> I actually got this off of Amazon, but I included it in my uh, food haul today. I bought this last week. I'm about almost halfway done with another can because this comes two pack at Amazon. Um, I wanted to try this. I saw I'm, I'm subscribed to Garadelli <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> so they came out with this and I'm like, oh my God, I got to have it. It's the Frappe mix. It's good, guys. It's good. Amazon got it and I got it on sale and I got it for like 20 something dollars for Prime. All right. Can't go wrong with white wine vinegar. Got to have that in your pantry. Also got some of the Filippo Berrio extra virgin olive oil. 
because I go through a lot of oils and stuff. So that's that. And I also got, I don't know if you guys can see this, the walnut oil. I like, I like to use the walnut oil, avocado oil, uh, macadamia nut oil in my hair, on my locks, my scalp, and face, body. And I like to cook and eat with it. I also like to just dribble, drizzle, <laughs> dribble, drizzle these oils over salads or something like that raw um, because they don't take a high temperature too much. I think, I think the, wal the walnut oil is good to saute in and bake. You can bake with these. But um, yeah, try these if you can find it, the nut oils. Try a nut oil. I like walnut oil, but you can get macadamia nut, um, pecan. So just try which one you, you think you might enjoy, okay? Moving along. Oh, I got some sandwich meat, nothing special, some pepper turkey. I like to make a quick sandwich if I'm coming home. I like to do that. I like to, uh, you know, use the sliced cheese. I like provolone cheese, so I use that. I bought a pack of uh, ground turkey that I divide and put in the freezer. I can make like four meals out of this for myself. Um, you know, burgers, spaghetti sauce, Salisbury steak or chili or whatever, whatever you want to use it for. A two pack of Philly cream cheese. I like to have that in the house. Um, I bought some, I'm a cheese freak guys. As you can see, I got more cheese in the refrigerator too. <laughs> I love cheese, fresh cheese too. Um, these are the little fresh mozzarella. I mean, you can eat them like that, but I bought these this weekend, you know, for my guests. Then I bought the, the big feta cheese block because I'm going to use this in the salad. I'm going to make a big that salad with the peaches that I told you about, the tomatoes, cucumbers. I'm going to crumble this on the top and drizzle it with the walnut oil, maybe some basil walnut oil. I don't know yet, <laughs> but this is what I bought this for. And the feta cheese, if you guys never had feta cheese, it's a sheep's milk cheese. It's very good. It's a little tart, pungent, but I mean, you'll love it if you tried it. Try the feta cheese. Start off with a small amount. You don't need to get this big piece. <laughs> But uh, try it. Okay, moving along. I got the can of crab. Like I told you, I'm going to make the crab hors d'oeuvres for my guests because some of them like crab. And the crab meat now is going crazy with the price. This one was, I got this at uh, BJ's for $22. And this is just a claw. I was going to go with the lump, but I said, hell, shit, uh, $30? Nah. Uh-uh. I just got the claw. I love my, my, my guests, but hey. <laughs> And I got a thing, a Trader Joe's of mascarpone cheese. I'm going to do that in my dessert, which I might make a, um, uh, uh, with the lady fingers. You guys know tiramisu, a vegan tiramisu, because I got a lot of vegans here. Breakfast sausage, nothing special, just some turkey sausage I picked up. Some more sausage. There goes the crab on the floor. There she goes. <laughs> But I got the, uh, the turkey sausage here. And I got another block of cheese to have um, in the house in case I want to make macaroni and cheese or just slice off a piece. If I want to make uh, scalloped potatoes, I have it here. This is a good one. This is a Kerrygold cheddar. Um, this is a craft cheddar. So it, it, it's, it's more pungent. It's more cheddarish than <laughs> if that's a word than the other cheddar cheeses and uh i brought some sliced beef brisket i don't eat a lot of beef but i bought this for my guests because i'm going to do this in some blue cheese maybe on a cracker cut up for an hors d'oeuvre that's really what this is going to be about cocktails and hors d'oeuvres different kinds so that's what i bought that for moving right along I bought some uh, croissants. You guys know I love these for my last video. So I might do these and do a roast beef. I'm sorry, my nose is just with a uh, horseradish cream or something and cut these into pieces and serve them like that with a toothpick. I don't know yet. We'll see. Then I bought some snow peas just to have because these were on sale for two for five. Uh, fresh vegetables, the snow peas. And these are also good raw. If you want to eat them like that and it's on top of a salad cut up, you could. Um, I'm also enjoying these from Walmart. Um, these are these fresh tortillas. You could cook them up in a pan. They're really very good. They cook in minutes. And you can use them as a burrito or a soft taco, a quesadilla. 
try these guys. They're over there in the refrigerated section at Walmart. And I think these were like $3 and change where I am. But they're the fresh tortilla, tortilla land. Um, it got five little in ingredients in them. So try it. It's really very good. They're, they're easy to cook. Um, they're very easy to cook and they taste good. They're the flour tortillas. Then I got uh, some fresh apple cider. I love apple cider this time of the year. You could take this apple cider, which I might do, mix it with uh, Fireball, the liquor Fireball, and this crushed ice and a slice of apple in it. Great cocktail. Simple and easy. Um, also got this. Uh, I like these people juices because they're not from concentrate. They're real juice. And I like the, the cranberry juice. That's also good with, with like Grey Goose or vodka or the Hennessy. Anything. It's a good thing to have. I got some fresh pasta right there. You know, these. I got the spinach ricotta. I got the mushroom. And I got the cheese lovers. These are very good. They're fresh pastas. They're in the refrigerated section in your grocery store. But they, they last in the fridge and they're good to have on hand to make a quick meal. I also like the dry pasta, which I got. Um, I like this brand, the Cola Vita. And I like the Pepper Adele Nests. But, you know, whatever. I like these uh, top of the line pastas because they cook up al dente. They don't break up in the pan. And I like them to be organic. This is all, another one I bought, the congeli um, pasta shells. I like to make sometimes macaroni and cheese with that shape. So try those. Also got the blue corn tortilla shells, but I might make like a seafood taco and use these. Uh, I got some, you know, stuff from the, from the uh, thing here, the salmon steak. And I got some uh, perch fillets. I got more of these. I bought more, but I ain't pulling all this stuff out. It's in the refrigerator, um, in the freezer right now. Um, I got some puff pastry. I'm going to do something with that for dessert, another dessert this weekend. Don't know yet. I don't feel like making puff pastry. I know how to do it, but I ain't making it because <laughs> it's too hot. I bought some Bubba Burgers. You guys know about Bubba Burgers. Turkey. Very good. Um, I bought some more juice. Some tart cherry juice this time. Um, these are very good. The organic one. They're organic um, and very good non-GMO too. So if you can try it, try it. If you can find it. They, they, usually Walmart has these too. So they're all over the place. Um, and like I said, I, I'm making a tiramisu. And these are the lady fingers that you have to use it with mascarpone cheese. I might do a raspberry tiramisu instead of the chocolate. Um, I don't know yet. I don't know, but this is what you would use. The lady fingers dipped in coffee, or you could dip lady fingers in juice, wine, whatever. As long as you moisten them, you could even spritz them with water and keep them plain tasting. Okay, and then I needed some cocoa powder, so I like the Ghirardelli um, cocoa. This is the Dutch process. This is a premium cocoa. Um, it's unsweetened. Always get the unsweetened because if you don't, it's half the bag will be sugar and the other half maybe some Bad taste in cocoa from God knows where. So get quality. Also bought some raisins because I, I like to make my cookies this time of the year. Uh, my sorghum raisin cookies. Um, actually won a blue ribbon off of them years ago. <laughs> but uh, I use these for them. And, you know, I got a bag of the pecans. I don't say pecan. I say pecan. I'm from the South. If you're thinking pecan... That kind of pecan, and you ain't from my side of the town. <laughs> we say pecan, and that's what this is, a bag of pecans. I also bought some parchment papers to line, you know, muffin cups. If I'm making muffins in the morning, I have these. Also bought these. I like these little things. I'm going to serve these this weekend. These are like tostadas. I'm sure you guys seen these. You can put chopped avocado, corn, tomato, make like a guacamole. You can put fish on the top or just plain vegetable one. And serve them out as a, as a uh, 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 hors d'oeuvre. And I got some tea. I got two things of tea this time of the year. I like to make my chai tea from scratch. Instead of buying it at Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or whatever, I just make it up. 
steep it with cinnamon sticks, star anise, uh, cloves. I make my own with this tea and then I serve it. Um, so let's move along, guys. I got two more things, a couple more things to show you. Then we'll be done here. I got the ginger beer right here. I like to buy the ginger beer when I make my Moscow mule because that's, that's the way it looks in that cup right there. I have the, the cups too. But uh, I'll show you that when I make the cocktail. But these ginger beers, this is a good quality one. Try that whenever you can find it. It's good. Also got the Bundaberg guava. These are like a, like a, like a good quality sparkling fruit drink. And they're very good. You can mix them with a cocktail just plain over ice. It's good. So try that one if you can find it. And lastly, I got a bunch of wines back there. And I also got this. This is for the people who don't drink wine, but it's still sparkling. It's those sparkling uh, cranberry drinks or grapefruit drinks that you get. And this is non-organic. This is non-GMO. So try and always buy that. You see that little sign on something? It's pretty decent. So you try that one. This is sparkling for people who don't drink alcohol. People who do. These are all, you know, I call them backyard wines because they're affordable and you can buy a whole bunch of them to serve a bunch of people <laughs> instead of me getting a, a $30 bottle, you know, and up. I just get these and people are happy with them. So anyway, guys, that's it. Um, I have more stuff in the back and in my freezers. But like I said, I don't want to pull it out. It's too late. You guys know how I feel about holding you up with long videos, um, me ranting and raving about food that you probably already have in your kitchen. Oh, guys, wait a minute. Hold on. On the floor here, that's a watermelon, uh, a sugar baby watermelon that I found with seeds in it. So, yeah. And then the other thing down there is the potatoes, bag of organic uh, Yukon Gold potatoes, which I enjoy. But the watermelon has seeds in it, so I had to get one of those. And it's from the farm? Yeah, oh yeah, I had to get one of those. This will probably be the last one that I eat for the season because, you know, it's, it's getting out of season now. Watermelon season is almost over. So if you can grab one more to get before the season is over, do it. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video now. I want to thank you guys for giving me all that love on that queen video. <laughs> um, that was great. You guys are awesome. Thanks, thanks to all my subscribers who have stuck by me all this time without making videos or, you know, making them seven months too late. I appreciate you guys so much. Even the haters who come here and give me a thumbs down, love you too. I got a soul to save and I got to see my mom again. So I'm going to behave myself, all right? So you guys stay tuned. I'm going to come back with another video. I'm going to show you guys another video, cocktail video, uh, probably this weekend because I'm having my guests over here Sunday. And I'll probably show you, upload some more stuff because I know you guys said you enjoy my videos and I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Love you all so much. Be safe and be kind. Bye-bye. Love you.